I want to be able to use those neurons to represent more than just K patterns. So if I only can recognize K mutually exclusive patterns, then I can't really represent much of the world, right? If, it, if I have to have a million neurons to represent a million different things, uh, life is going to be pretty rough. So what we'd really prefer to have is something that looks more like two to the K patterns. I'd rather have neurons that represent things like uh, red and dog or cat so that I can have red dogs and red cats and blue dogs and blue cats without having to represent every possible combination. So I'd like to figure out a way to make my features represent those things in a distributed way. Um, so this is, people know the curse of dimensionality, right? Yeah. So this is uh, about trying to solve the curse of dimensionality. Because things I want to represent are very complex. I want to use very small, compact sets of features to, to describe them. Another interesting concept is called invariance. We want features that are invariant. And the idea behind an invariant feature is that it's robust to sort of trivial or extraneous changes in the input. So for example, let's say I have a feature uh, that I think is really uh, predictive of whether something is a cat. What I would like that feature to do